Recently, there was a tragedy in Las Vegas. There was a shooter. Nobody knows his motives yet. And people are just saying some really stupid stuff, especially the Republicans. One particular Republican is uh, Senator John Thume. He blames the shooting victims, basically. Well, not quite blaming them, but he's basically saying that if you're in a situation like that is to get small. I think maybe he was taking some drugs at the time or he's been listening to certain songs that says get small because in this particular shooting, they didn't know where the shooter was uh, shooting from. And to stay in place in that particular area, you had nowhere to hide and getting small would have not have helped. I mean, because the guy was literally shooting rapid fire. I mean, he had a thing called a bump stock, which was a legal device attached to a legal gun, which makes it act like a machine gun. And he was literally spraying bullets everywhere. So getting small would not have helped. This was his exact wording here. I think people are going to have to take steps in their own lives to take precautions to protect themselves. And in situations like that, you know, try to stay safe. As someone said, get small. Sometimes I hear this like in uh, movies with the, the military or whatever. They say, try to get small, try to stay undercover. That's where that's probably coming from. But the fact is, you're at an outdoor concert. In this particular concert, there was like nowhere to hide. Where are you going to get small at? Atheist Ranger, your thoughts? Well, this dude... This Republican is just rather dumb because, I mean, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but if you watch, I, th I think it was like the third Star Wars movie, not having the high ground is important, especially with a gun. Mm -hmm. If you're high up and you're shooting down low, there's not many places you can hide. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this guy was literally spraying bullets everywhere. From what I understand, there was about 400 people that got hit roughly give or take and fortunately the body count was kind of low i mean it was 59 people 58 plus the shooter which was 59 so the fact is that so few people actually were killed in this it's amazing based on how many bullets the guy spread out and the fact is that he was firing, according to the police department, for over 10 minutes, about 11 minutes, approximately. So the fact is that so many people were able to survive this is amazing in itself. But this guy's comments are still amazingly stupid, are amazingly stupid. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, this man needs clearly needs to talk to someone like in the military because, you know, when, when it comes to dealing with a gun, like any other combat situation, having the high ground is important. Exactly. Tucker, your thoughts? Well, he's clearly... An idiot and he's trying to rationalize his beliefs that well you know <laughs> we've got to have as many guns as we possibly can uh, because you know it, it's not only having the high ground and it, it's the fact that you know this is a broad open area so yeah. if even if he'd been at ground level and just swept his gun back and forth in front of the crowd he would have mowed down hundreds of people Exactly. If he had just been on the, the ground level. And there was indications the shooter was hoping to survive after he had done this. He was I, I would imagine that he was trying to get up there. He was going to shoot for a while and then try to get out of there because he had actually set up cameras in the lower parts of the building and in the hallway in which he was in. He was kind of hoping it's like, OK, if I see these people coming, I'll be able to, you know, walk out like. I was like one of the guests that didn't know what was going on, you know? And, yeah. and of course, then there's the fake story that's been running around the internet saying, oh, there was a second shooter when this has already been debunked thoroughly as well. So if you hear anybody that passes on a news story to you say, oh, there was two shooters and the media is not covering it, it's because it's baloney. It's yeah. total nonsense. It's been yeah. thoroughly yeah. debunked. I've been in Nashville down at the city in the center of the city basically they have a fireworks display on the fourth of july and i went there one year and it was really amazing because of the uh, you know the reflections and the echoes you heard off the buildings as the fireworks went off yeah so, and i'm sure not that i've been to las vegas but um i'm sure it was the same way there that you know the sound was bouncing off all the other buildings and you know i'm been told that it's really hard to figure out exactly where gunshots are coming from just by the sound. Uh. Yeah, not to mention, not to mention when the shooting first started, because Las Vegas, you know, it's Las Vegas, that people thought, well, this, the sound effects of the gunfire must have been part of the show because they didn't know what it was going on for the first yeah. few seconds until people started, you know, getting shot. And then it's like, oh my God, we're getting shot here. Have so. you seen the photo of the, uh, the guy who's standing up, flipping the bird in the direction of the shooting? Shooter. No, I have not seen that. That's the first I've heard about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 pretty amazing because yeah, <laughs> that would not be my first 
thought to stand up. <laughs> yeah. Wow. There's people that they, they take a lot of, you know, uh, balls to do things, and that would be one of them. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, uh, that's, that, that, that's a huge set. <laughs> that's all that, you can say. Yeah. He, he had quite the set on him. Wow. I had not heard that one. Yeah. That's amazing. And, and it took him several minutes to figure out, of course, where the gunfire was coming from. And the only reason why they found out where he was shooting from is because the smoke that from, you know, the gunpowder or whatever, he set off the smoke detector in his room and, you know, Las Vegas is because they're right on the bleeding edge of technology there. Because, you know, California is like right next door and they have to, you know, keep track of all the other technical garbage they got going on there. They were able to narrow all the smoke down to just that one room. So it was like, OK, well, there's no reason why there's smoke going on in anywhere else. And this seems to be where the shooter's coming from in, in this general building. So, you know, they put one and one together and got gun runner there. One other thing here I have to mention, and I've mentioned this on the show a number of times, because of the earliness that I get up in the morning, I listen to the radio and I listen to coast to coast because I like to listen to stupid people and go, wow, you're stupid. <laughs> But Sunday night, Monday morning, when I was heading into work, I was listening to this and they were talking about it had just happened. And the radio announcer, whoever it was, George, uh, George or whatever, whatever stupid idiot that was on that, that morning, he was saying that there was a person of interest. The, it turns out it was the girlfriend. And they were saying, oh, well, I hope she does the right thing and kills herself because apparently this guy had killed himself. And she's like. They can't find her, but they hope that she had killed herself, too, based on what his actions were. And I, I was thinking, wow, you people are immoral monsters. And this is a program that all gets on there. It's like, oh, let's talk about God's love and all this other happy nonsense. And I'm like, you're very, very not loving. If you're going around saying, well, this person who was not even there should kill themselves because reasons. Yeah, yeah. 